Petra. Hi. How are you? Awesome. Are you ready for this? Yes. Take okay, let's do this. <laughs> right, so Petra, what kind of accent is that? Swiss German. It's one of the main languages spoken in Switzerland. How many languages do you speak? Swiss German, German, English, French. Used to be fluent in Italian, had a few Italian boyfriends. Wanted to study Russian as well, but they said no. Enough. So you are from Switzerland, but what is your origin? I know I don't exactly look like Heidi from the Alps, but my mother is from Lucerne and my biological father is from Nigeria. Do you have any siblings? Yes, my mother married a Swiss fellow and shortly thereafter I've received two half-brothers. Were you a role model to your younger brothers? Most deaf, yes. I told them that we are the ones who have to educate our parents and not the other way around. And what was your first job and how old were you? I was 14. I wanted to work at a health food store and so I did. What did you want to be when you were growing up? Pop star or movie star. Who do you admire and look up to now? I admire Elon Musk, to tell you the truth. How would your friends describe you? Honest, sincere, super fun and super free. I think they see me as the modern, independent woman. So who's your bestie? It's Melissa and we are currently in her VHO penthouse. Hi Melissa. Hello. How are you? Wonderful. So Melissa, how did you meet Petra? You know, Petra lived above me in Venice Beach about 20 years ago and she always made a lot of noise and she was doing karate, chops and acrobatics and gymnastics so I went up there one day wondering what was going on so that's how we met because of noise. <laughs> what? We were rehearsing back talks in there. I see you're married. Where's your husband, Melissa? You know, he is not here today. He works a lot, so, and he's a plastic surgeon. And who is this little fella? This is our fur baby, Sammy. Petra, have you had any plastic surgery? Yes, my boobs. And Melissa's husband has done them. You're a stand woman. Don't this get in the way? No, not really, because even when I have to follow my stomach, I land in my elbow plank first to break the fall, so they're safe, plus they're gels. Melissa, was nice to meet you, thank you. See you later. By the way, what's the most dangerous stunt you have done so far? Probably my car hit. That's a term used to describe when we stunt people have to let ourselves get hit by a car, a moving car. Oh, no candy glass either and I did a good one of these hits for a TV show in New York not long ago we also had to make it look like a hit and run accident plus the director wanted me to break the windshield on impact but it went super well and they used my stunt in several episodes so I got extra money wow okay and how do you even get into stunts um, my stunt training began when I joined the circus in Switzerland at age six and I was in so many different acts in my adolescent years and I think each and every one of them has prepared me for stunt work in one way or another but ultimately what really opened doors for me here was the fact that I performed for Cirque du Soleil. And how did you get into Cirque du Soleil? Um, I trained with my Russian coach at the National Circus School in Montreal and he has helped me create a very dominant high-flying cloud swing act and the school has then sent me to China to compete at the International Acrobatic Festival. Have you won any medals? Yes, I won the bronze lion. I was super happy with it. The gold obviously went to the Chinese and the silver went to a bear act, believe it or not. It was a boxing match between bears. You have been traveling a lot, so any continent you haven't been to? Africa. Um, I always had a strong desire to go to the place where half of my blood is from. So do you feel more Caucasian or African? I feel H-U-M-A-N, human. Petra, do you smoke pot? Oh, <laughs> well, when I was 16, I tried many times to fit in basically and it was horrible. 
I just want to feel in control, basically. What is that people don't know about you? Not many people know that I've been basically living on temple grounds of an Indian temple and that for the past 10 years I've been chanting with the temple group that's led by a Japanese Hindu nun and uh, we even had several gigs <laughs> over <laughs> the past 10 years in Southern California at different spiritual centers. What can't you live without? Oh, uh, candles and incense. I have my Christmas candles burning all year round and my incense is going strong. <laughs> Do you believe in reincarnation? Yes, I knew when I was very little. I might not have known the exact term for it, but I understood the concept already. What do you want to be remembered as? A trailblazer. What do you want to come back as? The most perfect human being. It will be my last lifetime. I will have reached the highest states of consciousness and the cycle of birth and death will be no more. And last but not least, what's next for Petra? Well, you're going to have to wait and see, but you best believe it's going to be good. Well, thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.